Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. There's only one week left till Christmas, so I'm back with one final project for you to make to wow your friends and family. Look at this. Isn't this cute? It's a little reindeer bag. I learned how to make this when I went away for a weekend stamping and scrapbooking trip with 20 other demonstrators for Stampin' Up. It was a lot of fun. Inside it has a little brown paper bag, and what we're going to make tonight is the holder. So here's what you need. You need a piece of chocolate chip cardstock, cut four and a half by twelve and a half. You want to score it at four and a half, and you want to score it at seven and a half. That's going to hold the bag. You need a small brown paper bag. You can get these at Sam's Club. You want a stipple brush and real red ink. You want some scrap, basic black, whisper white and real red cardstock. You want a piece of chocolate chip cardstock that you're going to run through the Big Shot. Tonight's project uses the Big Shot. You want the big tulip die and you want to run through a piece of chocolate chip cardstock that is about five and a half by five inches and the piece that we're going to use is just whoops, this piece right here and that's going to be the antlers for the reindeer. I can clear away everything else. You want a piece of creamy caramel cardstock that is cut about four and a half by five inches and you want to run that through the big shot using the top note die and we're going to use that piece. You want your half inch circle punch. You want a small oval punch. You want large oval punch, a white gel pen, black marker, basic black marker, and then a 1 16th inch punch and a brad and some sharp scissors. All right, so we're going to start off by making the reindeer face. Let's bring in the scrap cardstock. For the nose, you're going to cut one red half inch circle. For the eyes, you're going to need two large ovals. And that's for the white part of the eye. Bring that in. So we're working on the outside part of the eye. Then for the inside part of the eye, you want to cut two black, basic black, small ovals. And then get my adhesive. And you want to adhere the small oval to the large oval. And then I'm going to just make some kind of like pupil lines in the eyes by using the white gel pen. Just need a little line there and a little line there. And it just gives the eyes some definition. Okay like that. And I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and glue those on right now. Yep, let's put it the right way. There's one. And there's the second. And since this little reindeer is a girl reindeer, we're going to add a bow for her hair. One of the things I forgot to mention was you need a piece of real red one quarter inch grow grain ribbon that you cut and tied into a little bow and that's going to be used at the top. Now to provide some rosy cheeks for our little girl reindeer I'm going to take a stipple brush and I'm just going to lightly dab it in my ink and then stipple it onto the face. I'm not sure you can see that, but I've got some rosy cheeks right there. And then I want to add a mouth. And I'm just going to take my basic black marker. I think I want this end right here. Just give her a little smile like that. All right, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere on the antlers by just putting some 
adhesive in the center part, like so. All right, so we've got that. Now what we want to do is we want to put our bag together. Now with the size of the cardstock that I gave you, the dimensions, the bag is too big. So what you're going to do is you're going to tuck the bag in, get it where you want it to be, and then all you want to do is take some scissors and just cut across the top like that. And you can discard this piece, you won't be using that. And then what I want to do is I want to, I think what I'll do is I'll put this guy on next. I'll put the face of the reindeer on the reindeer bag. Like so. All right. And then I'm going to put the bag back in there. And what I want to do is take my 1 16th inch punch and I want to punch through everything. So I've punched right through sort of the top part where the antlers are attached to the swirls at the front. And then I'm going to pick a brad and just pop it through the whole thing. And the brad's going to be covered up by the ribbon, so it really doesn't matter what you use for a brad. I used a little diamond shaped brad, like that. And then the last thing you're going to do is, if I brought a mini glue dot and put it in front of me, I'd be attaching the ribbon using a mini glue dot, but my mini glue, dot, glue dots are not anywhere in near me, so I will just use a little piece of adhesive like that. And there you go. You've got, now I've got two little reindeer bags. The nice part about this is that you can make this and display it, or you can take the brad out, open it up, and fill the bag with some treats for somebody special. So there you go. There's your final holiday project using the Big Shot and the expertise of many Stamping Up demonstrators. I'm Terry and I'm Nuts About Stamping. If you would like to see more project ideas or you'd like to subscribe to my e-newsletter for all sorts of tips and tricks for scrapbooking, rubber stamping, and paper crafting, please visit my blog www.nutsaboutstamping.com That's N-U-T-Z nutsaboutstamping.com Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you in 2009. Bye for now.